Hello, this is Mike Liver from Northern Kentucky University, and I have a real treat for you today. I'm going to show you how to put a video on a CS4 primitive. Now, if you're just tuning in from YouTube, the place to go is uh, professionalpapervision.wordpress.com. That's where all this information and tutorial uh, is. And what we're going to be looking at now is that CS4 primitive. Now, we are the first, in a sense, to create a primitive like this. It's a super prim, so it has uh, maybe four or five primitives in it using the uh, basic geodesic equations. And uh, we're going to put a video on it today. And let me go ahead and play that demo so you can see how cool it is. So this is actually Switch Foot uh, doing the Narnia theme. And you can see we're switching from Taurus to Taurus. Uh, you see a blank there because we were on the other side of the plane. There's our cone, our sphere, our uh, Taurus, our plane. that will spin around here in a moment. Huh? Uh, we'll go around one more cycle so you can see it. Uh, see, basically the normal one is facing away from you, you get a zero. When it's facing toward you, then you get a full cosine one. And you can actually see what's on it. Let's see. Come on, come on, show me something. Oh well, it's not going to spin around. I'm not going to get the cycle. So, but it's just really fun to do this. I th I think we were the first to have done this. Uh, put a video on a CS4 primitive. There's the plane. Front and got it. And it's just a gr really exciting to do cutting edge work like this. And to start producing entertainment, uh, it, it's just fantastic. So let's go ahead and stop this, and we'll take a look at how we made it. So we're back on the blog now, and we'll show you exactly how to make this on the blog. Uh, basically, there's two important posts here. One is adding video to PaperVision 3D curved plane, and the other is CS4 Super Prim using a matrix 3D. So we show you how to build that Super Prim using those various geodesic equations. And then basically, that's the starter code. You need to click on that. We're going to go there right now. Go through that geodesic prim. You can see you've got a plane. We have a, a cylinder, a, a cone, a sphere, and a torus. We show you how that's made and give you all the equations for that. And basically below that is the starter code. So you need that generalized super pram. And you can download that from the web as well. Get that installed because the changes we're going to make, we're going to make to this. And you know what? It's only about four changes. Is that pretty cool? Let's go back to where we were. And then you want to go to adding a video to a paper vision 3D curved plane. Now, when I did this video, uh, this, excuse me, when I did this uh, post, my whole intention was to give you the basics of how video is laid on to a curved primitive. And then once you get the basics, take those over to CS4. Now, Paper Vision takes a lot of code to do this, thousands of lines. But with CS4, it's really simple. We get to eliminate tons and tons and tons of code. Get ready to eliminate thousands of lines of code of Paper Vision. That's right, because CS4 no longer needs the movie material class, doesn't need the display object class, doesn't need the video material class, doesn't need a peripheral of triangle and UV parsing classes, and it doesn't need the math classes. It's all internal now, just using draw triangle. So that's pretty cool. And uh, if you go through here, I'm going to go quickly through the steps to make this work. Once you have those two pieces of code up, you take a look, you go through this tutorial, start here with step one, import the net and media classes to the super prim. And basically, net media classes hold the uh, video and the stream and the connection uh, information that you need. The next, you want to declare a video net and net stream variables, just three of them right there, my connection, my stream, and my video. And once that's done, then you're going to... Uh, Take that load my video function that you got from the adding video to paper vision 3D class and put it in this uh, function and put it in this code. And then you're going to create a bitmap data object. And that's the whole heart of how this all works. Basically, you got a video that's you know clicking through. You got your bitmap data object, and it's just taking pictures of that 30 times a, f a second and it's throwing it into uh, basically a stream for you. Now, this is incredible. I mean, if you like me, you started back in Flash 5. To be able to do this 30 times a second on a video, so you can't tell the difference between the video and just uh, streaming uh, uh, images, it's just amazing. So, uh, so let me show that to you real quick before I move on. It's just basically draw video into a bitmap. Bitmap.draw, and this dot my video attached to the net stream. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And then right now, pretty much we uh, have to assign the video. It's an FLV, but that can be changed easily in the constructor function. So you just basically pop in the, the locator string, and you can watching a video you want, even through a drop-down list. A little extra here, of course, uh, you can also stream your webcam onto these primitives. And here's a picture of my uh, guinea pig, uh, Don Pedro, who jumped into the screen and was being streamed onto a sphere. So uh, good luck. I hope you enjoyed this post and use this code. It's just fantastic to see all these new changes uh, with CS4. This is Mike Leiter from Northern Kentucky University. Thanks for listening.